This game is rated M and is intended for mature audiences. Hope we don't regret that decision. <laughs> the crows are apparently super crazy and will take your food, raid your garbage, and have deep cause. That sounds awesome. I want one for a pet. <laughs> Minus the taking your food thing. <laughs> I like... I like birds in general. Crows and ravens are some of my favorites, but obviously ducks are top tier. Oh, I think we're getting Sachi's perspective now. Mentally reviewing the plan I've polished over these last two days, I follow the procedure with exacting care. One deliberate step at a time. That one bird at Disney that'll eat people's nachos. Imagine if he wasn't polite. Oh, okay. <laughs> From what the principal told us, the achievement test will be held the day after tomorrow. However, considering the opening ceremony tomorrow and the unpredictable obstacles it will present, today is my last real chance to carry out this task. But even after all my meticulous research and furrow brainstorming, I was still unable to find a plausible alternative to my previous method. When everything worked fine last time, you burned the school down and got expelled. Almost arrested! You probably would have been arrested if it weren't for the fact that this school existed, and now you're just gonna do it again? <laughs> Sachi. This is still far preferable than the last uh, last week's stream. I repeat the words again and again, trying to convince myself that they're true. Trying to distract myself from the hazy dark discomfort smoldering somewhere deep in my chest. Regaining my calm with an effort of will, I begin to spread a certain something along the darkened hallway. Ten bucks says it's kerosene. Or napalm, or something like that. The instant the liquid in the thick plastic touches the outside air, a unique smell fills my nose. I knew this stench well even as a child, when I used to help pour new fuel into the kerosene heaters. Yep, knew it, that he warmed our home. But I never did come to like it. As these distracted thoughts run from my head, I empty the can, then drop a rag to the floor and let the oil soak into it. Sachi, don't be an arsonist again. What have we told you about that? When I whisper those words to myself, I feel a voice whispering back. Somewhere deep inside my mind, my hands come to a sudden stop. And as my thoughts turn to the nature of that voice, I violently shake my head left back and forth, pushing it all away. I don't need to listen. Not now. Why is Sachi an arsonist? Good question. Long answer. So, Sachi is obsessed with being good. And to her, being good means doing whatever people ask her, no matter what it is. In the past, at her old school, she like a bully basically made her her, uh, her slave. And she was like, hey, Sachi, there's a test coming up. I don't want to take it. Get rid of the test. And Sachi's like, okay. And then set the school on fire so the test couldn't be held. And now Michu basically did the same thing in the present time, and now she's setting fire to this school. And apparently Yuji's like, I'm going to use this to my advantage to kind of fix her. <laughs> I don't know what his plan is still, but eh. A small seed of flame I plant at the corner of the cotton cloth blossoms quickly. Spreading along the line of fuel, it transforms before my eyes into a full-scale fire. Jeez, that's a creepy image right there. <laughs> Scorching heat batters my skin. It's not an unfamiliar sensation. I'm seized with a strange feeling, almost like nostalgia. But none of that matters any longer. Since this time I deactivated the fire alarms and the sprinkler system beforehand- What?! How did she get away with this? This is also kind of frightening. Oh, but this is good. This is way better than all the sex stuff that was happening last time. All I need to do is repeat this procedure a few times throughout the building. Furrow 
For a moment, relief blooms in my chest, and in the next... <laughs> With the sound of a dozen showers switched on at once, the sprinklers installed in the ceiling spring to life. Uh, it was, it was sexy last time. Um, last time it was extraordinarily uncomfortable. I almost flat out stopped the game. There was the sex scene, but it was completely cut out. But then there was also a scene where, um, Sachi was washing us in the bath. And there was a CG that was extremely lewd. And I literally had to change my background just to be black. Because it was that bad. <laughs> yep! It was awful. Almost stopped playing the game. Before I can even understand the situation, an almost disproportionate torrent of cold water rains down, soaking every inch of the hallway. <laughs> the flames that were growing so vigorously only seconds before shrink in a, with astonishing swiftness. <laughs> Sachi accidentally installed several more fire extinguishers instead of taking them out. Just last night, I entered the pump room and turned off every last one of the disaster prevention systems installed in the building, even testing that the sprinklers would no longer activate. How did you test that? But all of a sudden, they're completely functional. It's complete, simply incomprehensible. The fire's gone out. That one thought filling my mind, I run over to the rag, shelter with my body, and desperately flick the switch of my lighter. No! But the cloth's already soaked thoroughly with water. It refuses to accept the flame. A waterlogged piece of cotton isn't going to catch fire. I understand that rationally, but I still pull the switch frantically, half crazed with desperation and terror. So you chose this method after all. <gasps> Epic music. When I turn the corner into the furrowy, drenched hallway, I find Sachi crouched low on the floor, her eyes wide with shock. Interesting that she came in full school uniform, not the maid outfit she finds e it easiest to work in. I guess she was trying to show respect for the place in her way. <laughs> yeah. Turn the sprinklers on this afternoon, if that's what you're wondering about. <laughs> well, it'd be a bit of a pain in the ass if the alarms went off, so I did leave those deactivated. <laughs> Carefully shutting down the preventative systems beforehand to enable setting a large-scale fire. Just the sort of plan I'd expect from you, Sachi. <laughs> It's actually pretty simple to predict the way a competent, careful person will approach something like this. If I was going to try and set fire to this building, I'd have done the exact same thing. Taking out the sprinklers was a necessity, and today was the only day to do it. So, you can... maybe, maybe we don't have to take out an add on Craigslist for a new school. Yeah, I expected you to use this method from the start. And I turned the sprinklers back on because there's something I want to tell you. Sachi's mind doesn't seem to have fully caught up with events. Her face is blank, her eyes filled with puzzlement. Most likely, she hadn't even begun to consider the possibility that someone would step in to interfere at this juncture. The situation you're dealing with here is completely different from the last one. The size and construction of this building is nothing like that of the little wooden schoolhouse. Plus, it's equipped with state-of-the-art firefighting systems. Disabling those beforehand was a good start, but... Sprinkling kerosene around like you did last time would require a lot more fuel to be really effective, and you'd need a lot more time to spread it. Considering that you absolutely have to do the job alone before anyone notices, your chances of success are virtually nil. It's entirely likely that you'd cause some damage here and there, but that's not going to be a huge problem. The test would just be moved to an intact classroom. This place was designed for people like us, remember? You're not going to shut it down that easily. As I lay out the truth of the situation, Sachi stares up at me with disbelief and terror in her eyes. Yeah, at this rate, you're going to fail. <laughs> so 
The color instantly drains from Saji's face. She slumps jerkily to the soaking wet floor like a puppet cut from its strings. Why so surprised? I'm pretty sure you knew this wouldn't work all alone. <laughs> Otherwise, you wouldn't have been searching that intently for another way. No need for all that research if your previous method was good enough. But no matter how you looked, no matter how hard you fought it over, no other solution presented itself. And unable to find a genuinely viable strategy, you had no choice but to turn to your previous method. Since there was no other way, even if the prospects looked dim, you could at least cling to the thought of it worked before. Am I wrong? <sighs> I think every character in this is actively insane. I think your definition of good girl needs some tweaking. I've never seen this expression on her face before. Never heard her voice so thick with emotion. The sound echoes fiercely down the dark hallway. No one responds. Her anguish and desperation hang in the air for a moment, then fade into the indifferent silence, as if to symbolize her long, lonely, futile struggle. Tell me something, Sachi. Why are you so determined to do everything asked of you? Why are you so persistent with this good girl thing? <laughs> Getting rid of a test is a completely unreasonable demand to make of a normal human being. The others said as much, didn't they? Even if you give up now, they'll probably just say, yeah, figured as much. Nobody's going to hold it against you. Well, I mean, Michiru might get annoyed because we told her that she could play all summer instead of having to study, and she's like, WHY DID YOU DO THAT TO ME?! <laughs> what? だから、一度も失敗できない。何かを失いたくなければ、いい子でいないといけない。誰よりも勉強をして、誰よりも言うことを聞いて、誰からも好かれるような子でいなければいけないんです。そうじゃないと。幼い what are you saying, Marty? Therapy doesn't exist in Japan. But I agree. <laughs> this is a game where it's like, instead of giving people therapy that they need, let's just build a special school to lump them all into. What could go wrong? <laughs> I Asked, not told. <laughs> Saji's feelings flow out of her in a torrent of words, her voice rising to a shout. Every sentence is filled with such bitterness that it's difficult to even to listen. The pain of losing those who were precious to her, the sadness, the impotent anger, all jumbled together in an anguished wail. To me, it sounds like the voice of a child crying out for help. So then, if you become a good girl, if you succeed in this request, will you be yourself again? <laughs> yes, Principal Tachibana. I'm sorry, Principal Tachibana. <laughs> well, acting like a good girl should... Keep the things you love safe? 
What do you think, Sachi? Sachi's bared her heart to me. In return, I offer not kindness or comforting words, but a steady gaze. I see. In that case, I'll grant your wish. I'm going to help you become the person you want to be. I'll make sure you complete this task. What? This is not the direction you should be going in, buddy. I made a promise, didn't I? I want to help you be yourself. But I'm a superhuman 17 to 18 year old boy. I can do anything. Virtually impossible means there's a non-zero chance. And if you're not trying to do everything alone, things change pretty dramatically. Did we actually get the okay to burn the school down from the principal and the police and the government and the secret service? I don't know how we convinced them of that. As long as you are really are re willing to do whatever it takes, there are plenty of ways to get this done. Of course! What is happening? Yeah, I have a slightly different way of doing things, but it should be fine. The preliminary arrangements are already in place. Convenient you didn't include Natsuki in that list. <laughs> Although, yeah. I assume joint responsibility for our success on this job. Admittedly, Natsuki would be the one who would probably need therapy the least out of those three, but fair enough. And when 9029 participates in a mission, failure isn't an option. Of course, this isn't an Ichigaya job, and I'm not going on a cleaning expedition. Even so, I'm still my master's pupil. Asako didn't just develop my technique and cram me full of technical knowledge. She taught me a whole way of thinking. No matter what the job entails, I'll face it with the resolve and focus I bring to the most dangerous missions. Oh, it, well, it's just a number that comes with a bit of a reputation. No matter how ugly things get, 9029 pulls through. Okay. Sachi gazes up at me as though I've descended on a cloud from heaven. I hope the others are enjoying their helicopter ride right now. Having proposed this strategy, I naturally know full well how things are going to play out. And when I think about what's coming, it takes a real effort not to turn away from that gaze. No, it's nothing. Shaking my head lightly to drive away the lingering touch of guilt, I settle my face into a serious expression. But since it's your perfect record at stake here, I think you should be the one to actually carry this plan out. Right. In that case, there's something I want you to do for me. Yeah, this was my base camp during the initial preparations. Although Chizuru might be irritated to hear me say it, I needed a room that no one was likely to drop by and visit, and everyone hates the principal for some reason. That's right. The method I came up with involved a good amount of simple spade work. Anyway, everything's more or less ready to go, but we still need the finishing touch. I'd like you to help me with that. I retrieve a sizable duralumin case from behind the desk and swing it open. Guess it's not surprising that Sachi wouldn't recognize this stuff, no matter how broad her studies may be. Well, she might have heard of it, but that probably wouldn't translate into recognizing it by sight. I'm hoping to wrap this up before midnight, so I'm not going to explain in detail at the moment. Just think of it as clay for now, like you said. Yeah. Once you set some of that up in a few places, the job's done. I'll show you what needs to be done. Think you can handle it, Sachi? Is this going to exude, like, toxic gas? So it's like, we gotta shut down the whole school! <laughs> gotta shut down the entire school because there's, there's toxic gas in here. Your artistic talents aren't really relevant, but whatever. That confidence should be more than enough to pull this off. Alright, first of all, I'll explain how to install it. You see this deep hole here? Yeah, 
Well, getting all of these ready was one part of the spade work I mentioned. Were you digging holes in the hallway? Anyway, when you see a hole like this, install one of those long, thin pieces of the clay inside, like so. If there's a square drawn on the wall instead, then set one of these square pieces of clay on top of it. That's all I need you to do for me. Any questions? Plastic expl- Oh, are we planting bombs in the school? Um, that's not okay! <laughs> Excellent. I've marked the points you need to cover on these plans, so go ahead and get started. I'll be taking care of something else in the meantime. How did we get pl how did we get permission to blow the school up? This is what? Okay, remember how earlier in the stream I said the most unbelievable part was that Yuji was only 17 or 18? No, that went out the window. What? <laughs> Maybe they'll explain it. How did we get bombs? Because we work for the Japanese Secret Service Secret Agent 007 GoldenEye Group. <laughs> Apparently. Alright, I'll be taking care of something else in the meantime. Hi, I Looks like that's about it. Hi. Sachi can't fully mask the weariness in her voice or in her face. In her face. On her face. No doubt a result of all the pressure she's been under lately. Our final tasks completed, we meet up in the courtyard as arranged beforehand. Yeah. As long as we didn't make any mistakes, it will. I saw it on Mythbusters. Apparently not fully buying my assurances, Sachi answers somewhat half-heartedly. Of course, she doesn't have the concrete details. To her, it really was nothing more than scattering some clay around the building. It'd be stranger if she wasn't a little dubious at this point. Okay, I can tell you what if I can tell you want to see some results. Let's get moving. How much the school are we blowing up? Just the school building, or are we blowing up like the dorms as well? Sachi tagged along in silence for a good while, but eventually she's no longer able to contain her uncertainty. A place where we can overlook the school. You'll understand soon. Oh wow, we have a special CG. Sachi's like, I'm a little worried about this, even though I was totally willing, willing to blow the school up, and Yuji's just like, <laughs> we're gonna blow the school up and it's gonna be cool, and who cares? I'm Yuji. Alright, I guess here we'll be fine. <laughs> yeah, all, an all, all, all visual novel anime protagonists look, look the same. After about 20 minutes of walking, we reach a high place not far away. Here's a little cover of any sort, or there's a little cover of any sort below us. The reclaimed spit of land where our school stands lies clearly visible. Before I answer that question, there's something I want to confirm. Yeah. You sure you want to do this? Fulfill this request? He's Sebastian from Stardew Valley? I don't know who that is. I've only played a tiny star bit of Stardew Valley. You want to do what you're told without fail. To answer every demand everyone makes of you. And so you're absolutely determined to carry out even a completely unreasonable request like getting rid of a test. That's the choice you're making here. You sure you're not going to regret it? Regret it? Listen to me, Sachi. This is an important question. Think it over carefully and give me an honest answer. Sachi falls silent, a serious expression on her face. Looks like she's already started to deliberate. I don't know what she's thinking. I don't know how she's reasoning her way through this question. But no matter how dependent she may be on others, no matter how passive and obedient her way of life is, in the end, her decisions are her own. If nothing else, I want to remind her of that. Uh, I am many things. Emo is not one of them. 
それが私が私でいられるってことなんです I see Then I have no choice but to make her realize Guess that's going to cause a bit of trouble for you guys But those are the breaks Your luck ran out the day I transferred into your class Sorry Sakaki Amane Michiru Makina All right then Throw the switch and you'll get what you want With those words I retrieve a crudely made remote control from my jacket and hand it to Sachi Yeah Doesn't look like much does it But I guarantee you that fan will get rid of the test Throw that switch and you'll stay a good girl After staring down at the small box in her hands for a long moment, Sachi shifts her gaze to our school, firm conviction in her eyes.